dudes, I hope you're having a great day, a great Monday. I wanted to hop on this morning and just give you guys a little bit, um, or should I say a few really great and essential stretches that you can do in the morning before you go to work or at, uh, at night when you come home. And they're just really great stretches for your legs, for your hips, your butt, your, your hamstrings, your calves, your joints in your lower body. Essentially, um, it's just a really, a couple of really good stretches that you can do really, really quickly. And they're really, they're lazy stretches. Like they're, they're not hard. They don't take a lot of effort, should I say. They're not really, they don't have to be lazy, but they don't take a lot of effort if you don't want them to. So if you're not feeling terribly energetic, you don't have to put a lot of effort, effort into it. And you can still get a lot of great results and stretches from it. I don't know if you're like me, but I work at a computer. So I'm either sitting at a desk um, or I'm sitting on a yoga ball or I'm standing. So regardless of what I'm doing, my, need, my legs need stretching. Plus on top of that, I work in health and fitness. Plus I teach fitness on the side. So I'm always working out or I'm always using my legs or I'm sitting. So my legs, are, they always need a lot of love. That being said, doing these stretches today, it was super quick and I felt super amazing afterwards. So I wanted to share it with you to give you guys like five or six really super easy stretches that you can do in a sequence um, and you can feel better from your day if you're like me, if you stand or sit for super long periods of time. So starting off, you're gonna start sitting on your yoga mat and you're going to extend one leg and keep the opposite leg bent. So as you can see, my knee is bent. I've pulled my knee in or my heel into my groin as much as possible and my straight leg is pointed forward. Avoid having your hip open and try to keep your hip square to the front. You're gonna inhale nice and tall, and on the exhale, you're gonna reach forward and try to come as far over the leg as you can. Okay, you're gonna think of lengthening the spine, so leading forward with the belly button, and you can relax your neck and head down, that way you're just not pinching your neck and shoulders, because again, if you're typing on a computer all day, your shoulders are up here. So that's something else I want you to think about in this stretch. It's not just a leg stretch, it's also a little bit of your back and your shoulders. So if you can only come to here because your back is so tight, that's okay. You can put a block here, and it will support your forehead. That way there's not so much strain happening on the back of your neck. I wish I had a block so I could demonstrate. I don't have a block with me. I have a water bottle. Okay, let's pretend this is a block, okay? So if you can't reach as far as I can, that's okay. If you come down and all you can reach is here and say you have books or a block or something, see how I'm leaning my head on the water bottle? Imagine there's a block or something comfortable. But I'm leaning my head on the bottle and that's gonna relieve a lot of tension in my shoulders and in my neck while I'm doing this stretch. So you're gonna hold this position for three to five to eight deep breaths. Okay, when you're done, you're gonna roll it up and come up to sit up tall. Then the foot that's on the uh, that's bent, you're gonna flex that foot or keep it flexed. You're gonna cross it on top of the leg, on top of the leg now. So obviously, the more you go up into the crotch, um, the more you're gonna feel it on the thigh muscle, so it might be uncomfortable if you have really tight thighs. So you can go closer to the knee, but again, that might be that might hurt your knee a little bit more. So you can figure out where on the top of that thigh it feels the best. The more you pull it in, you might feel more of an intense stretch versus pulling it out. So again, it depends on you. So from this position, again, if it's too much pressure to put some blankets under there or I don't know, towels, socks, whatever you got that's padding, right? So you've crossed it over, you're flexing the foot, and the flexion of the foot protects your joints from movement. So that means you're stretching your muscle rather than your joints. From here, we're gonna inhale, and you're gonna exhale and fold again as far as you can over the leg. So you'll notice that I can't get as far as I can on this position because my leg is in the way and I get a deeper stretch in my bum. So in the last stretch, you would get a stretch down the hamstring, maybe the back of your leg, perhaps a little bit on the bum of the leg that is bent. In this stretch, I'm definitely getting a stretch in my bum and in the back of my leg of the leg that's straight. If you need a deeper stretch in the side of the glute here, you can easily press into the knee. And again, you can think of relaxing the neck and shoulders, looking down if that's comfortable. But just don't think of like craning your, your neck and looking up at the TV if you watch TV in the morning. Like don't, don't do this and create more tension because you do that all day long at work. Think of relaxing your neck and shoulders and creating space. So think of pushing the shoulders down while you're here. Even though your arms might be reaching up, you can still pull your shoulders down actively and stretch out your neck and shoulders. You can even think of rolling your ears to each shoulder and stretching your shoulders out like that. Okay, so on each stretch, you can do this and kind of get a nice deep stretch. After, again, five to eight breaths, you're gonna roll it up. Then from here, we're gonna pull the straight leg into the body and you're gonna reach your arms behind you. So now you're gonna sit up tall. So from the side, I want you to think of sitting up tall here rather than slouching into your shoulders. So I'm pushing up tall into my shoulders, I'm pushing my chest high, 
And again, I'm flexing this foot, high flexion of the foot, okay? From here, I'm thinking of pressing this knee down. So I can do one of two things. I can either just squeeze my bum, my bum cheek of this leg, and it will push my knee down. So you'll see that little flutter, that's just an activation of my bum. So as I push that knee down, I can lift my chest to push forward, I'll get a nice deep stretch. Or if I want a deeper stretch, 